Om Shanti. This is the Avyakt Murli of 27th of November, 1985. And the title is The Method to Forget the Old World and the Old Sanskars. Bab Dada is seeing the form of the practical life of faith of the children who have faith in their intellect. All of you have heard the specialties of children who have faith in the intellect. Such victorious jewels who are full of specialties and have faith in the intellect would always be an example in this Brahmin life, in the most auspicious confluence-aged life. They would have this intoxication, spiritual Intoxication is the mirror of faith. Faith is the form of awareness, isn't just in the intellect, but it will be experienced in every action in the form of spiritual intoxication. It will be experienced in your practical form and others too experience it because this is a jnani and yogi life. It is not just for listening and speaking, but for making your life. Awareness, thoughts, words, actions, and relationships is all included in life. To have faith in the intellect means to have a life of intoxication. Every thought of a soul who has such spiritual intoxication would be filled with intoxication. The intoxication of faith would be experienced in all three, your thoughts, words, and deeds. As is your intoxication, so the sparkle of happiness would be revealed on your face and in your behavior. The proof of faith is intoxication, and the proof of intoxication is happiness. There is a lot of expansion of the different types of intoxication. However, in essence, the first type of intoxication is of the bodiless, soul conscious form. Do you know the detail of this? All of you are souls, but spiritual intoxication is experienced when you have in your awareness what type of soul you are. Go into the detail of this amongst yourselves or churn it by yourself. The second form of intoxication is of the alokic confluence-aged life. In this life too, think about the detail of what type of life you have. So, first is the intoxication of the soul conscious form. Second is the intoxication of your alokic life. Third is the intoxication of the angelic stage. Also, go into the detail of whom you would call an angel. Fourth is the intoxication of the future. Of these four types of alokic intoxication, even if you have one type of intoxication in your life, you will automatically continue to dance in happiness. If you have faith but don't have happiness, what is the reason for that? It is because you don't have that intoxication. Intoxication easily makes you forget the old world and old sanskars. In this effort-making life, it is those two that especially become an obstacle, either the old world or old sanskars. Both Bodily relations and possessions of the body are included 
in the world. Today with death, even more than the world, it is the old sun scars that become a greater problem. The world can be forgotten, but sun scars cannot be forgotten. So the method to transform sun scars is to have one of the four types of intoxication in a practical form, not just in thought form. By having this intoxication in the practical form, they sense scars will never become an obstacle. This is the reason why sense scars have still not changed. Because you have imbibed this intoxication in thought form, that is, in your intellect in the form of knowledge. When any old sense scars emerge, you use this language. I understand everything. You even understand that you have to change. However, it doesn't just have to be up to the level of understanding, but it has to be in actions. That is, it has to be in your practical life. Transformation should be experienced in life. This is called putting it into the practical form. At present, it is just in the intellect, in the form of points, just in terms of thinking about it and speaking about it. However, when transformation is visible in your every action and relationship, that is called having a lokic intoxication in the practical form. Now, put every type of intoxication into your life. Anyone who looks at your forehead should experience an attitude of spiritual intoxication through your forehead. Whether you speak about it or not, your attitude spreads into the atmosphere and in the vibrations. Your attitude should give others the experience of the vibrations of happiness in an atmosphere of happiness. This is called being stable in intoxication. In the same way, spiritual intoxication should be experienced in the corporeal form through your drishti, through the smile on your lips, and through your words. Only then would you be called a victorious jewel with faith in the intellect who stays in intoxication. You mustn't remain incognito in this. Some become clever in this and say that they are remaining incognito. There is a saying that no one can ever hide the sun, that no matter how thick the clouds may be, the sun will still give its light. Does the sun move or do the clouds move? Clouds come and go, but the sun remains stable in its form of light. Similarly, those who have this spiritual intoxication cannot hide their spiritual sparkle. The sparkle of their spiritual intoxication is definitely experienced in a visible form. Their vibrations automatically attract others. The vibrations of those who stay in spiritual intoxication work like a canopy of protection for themselves and for others. So, what do you have to do now? Put this into the practical form. In terms of knowledge, you have become knowledgeful. However, by putting knowledge into your practical life, you will experience yourself to be successful and blissful as well 
is knowledgeful. Baba will tell you at some other time with the form of someone who is successful and blissful is. Today, Baba is telling you about spiritual intoxication. Everyone should experience this intoxication. Out of these four of intoxication, use any one of these four types of intoxication in different ways. The more you use this intoxication in your practical life, the more you will accordingly remain constantly free from worry and become a carefree emperor. Everyone will see you in the form of a carefree emperor. So now, go into the detail of this and put it into practice. Where there is happiness, Maya cannot play her tricks. Maya cannot enter the empire of someone who is a carefree emperor. She comes and you then chase her away. And she comes again and you chase her away again. Sometimes Maya comes in the form of the body, sometimes in the form of bodily relations. This is called Maya sometimes coming as an elephant, sometimes as a cat, and sometimes as a mouse. Sometimes you chase the mouse away, and sometimes you chase the cat away. Your time is spent just chasing her away. Therefore, always stay in spiritual intoxication. First of all, reveal yourself, and then you will reveal the Father, because the Father is to be revealed through you. Acha. To those who reveal the Almighty Authority, through themselves, to those who reveal the specialty of spiritual intoxication in the mirror of this practical life, to those who always become carefree emperors and bid farewell to Maya, to those who always put knowledge into the practical form, to such children who have faith in the intellect and who maintain their intoxication, to those who always swing in the swing of happiness, to such elevated souls, to such special souls, Papta does love, remembrance, and namaste. Papta da meaning serviceable teachers. Servers means those who make others powerful with their own powers. This is the real specialty of servers, to fill those who are weak, powerless, with power is real service. To receive a part to do such service is a hero part. So, hero actors, how much intoxication do you have? You can take your number ahead as much as you want through the part of service because service is a means to move forward. By becoming busy in service, you automatically step away from everything else. Each service center is a stage on which each soul is playing his part. There are many facilities, but the facilities should always have that power. If you use the facilities without power, you don't get the result in service that you should. Warriors of the old days always used to offer their weapons to the deities to have them filled with power and then use them. So, when all of you use any of the facilities for a task, then before using it, do you put it 
to use in the right way, according to the method. Whatever facilities you use now, people are attracted to that for a short time. They are not impressed by it for all time because the powerful souls who show that transformation through the powers are all number wise. All of you do service. All of you are called teachers. Whether you are a server or a teacher, what is the difference in service? You make the same program. You make similar plans. Your customs and systems are also similar. So why is there a difference in your success? Lack of power. So fill the facilities with power. For instance, if a sword doesn't have the power of sharpness, that sword won't do the work of a sword. It is a sword, but it doesn't have the strength of sharpness. The more you fill yourself with power, the more success you will automatically continue to receive in service. So, become powerful servers. Always attain success using the right method. This is not a big thing. However, pay special attention so that the powerful souls grow in number. Let there be quality. There will be even greater quantity who come. Pay attention to the quality. You will receive a number upon the quality, not upon the quantity. One soul of quality is equivalent to a hundred of quantity. To the Kumars, what wonders do Kumars perform? You are not those who cause chaos, are you? In order to perform wonders, become powerful and make others powerful. In order to become powerful, always keep your title of being a master almighty authority in your awareness. Where there is power, you will be liberated from Maya. According to the attention you pay to yourself, you will be able to pay that much attention to service. If there isn't attention on the self, there won't be any power in service. Therefore, in order to make yourself into a constant embodiment of success, you should create methods of powerful practice. Make some special program through which progress continues to take place all the time. When there are first programs for self-progress, then service will be accomplished easily and successfully. A Kumar life is a fortunate life because you have been saved from many bondages. Otherwise, in a household life, there are so many bondages. So, souls who are to become so fortunate, you don't sometimes forget your fortune, do you? Always consider yourselves to be souls with an elevated fortune. You are those who draw the line of fortune for others. Those who are free from bondage automatically continue to move forward through the flying stage. This is why Pap Dada always loves the Kumar and Kumari life. A household life is one of bondage, whereas a Kumar life is one of being free from bondage. So become a soul who is free from bondage and also make others free from bondage. A Kumar means one who constantly maintains a balance between remembrance and service. If you have this balance, you are constantly in the flying stage. Those who know how to keep a balance will never fluctuate 
in any situation. To other Kumars, all of you are those who do service through the practical example of your life. Are you not? The greatest practical proof is the transformation of the lives of all of you. People have seen many who speak and listen. Now, they all want to see. They don't want to hear. So, whenever you perform any actions, keep the aim that whatever actions you perform should be so transformed that the others who see those actions are also transformed. Through this, you yourself will remain content and happy, and you will also benefit others. So, perform every action for the sake of service. If you have the awareness that your every action is for service, you will automatically perform elevated actions. Remember, the transformation of others is to happen through self-transformation. This service is easy and also elevated. To give lectures with words and also through your life is called being a server. You are servers who change the drishti of others by giving them drishti. The more powerful your drishti is, the more you will be able to transform others. Become instruments who always serve others through your drishti and elevated actions. Do you always have in your awareness what you were and what you have become? By having this awareness, old sanskars can never emerge. As well as this, also remember what you are going to become in the future. And then, because your present and future are both elevated, there will be happiness. And by remaining happy, you will constantly continue to move forward. The world of the present and the future are elevated. And so, in front of the elevated, you will not remember the world that gives sorrow. Seeing this unlimited family of yours constantly continue to remain happy. You would never have even thought in your dreams that you would receive such a fortunate family. However, you are now seeing this in a practical form and experiencing it. It is the family that is united with one direction and it is such a big family. It is only at this time in the whole cycle that you receive such a family. Even in the golden age, it will be a small family. So, there is happiness on seeing Babdada in the family. Is there not? Do you love this family? Because here, there are no selfish motives. Those who belong to such a family will be close to one another, even in the future. Constantly continue to move forward while seeing the specialties of this family of God. Kumaris, are all of you Kumaris moving forward, considering yourselves to be world benefactors? This awareness always makes you powerful. A Kumari life is a powerful life. Kumaris are those who become powerful and who also make others powerful. You are those who bid farewell to waste for all time. Continue to move forward while keeping the fortune of Kumari life in your awareness. It is also great fortune at the confluence age that you have become a Kumari. A Kumari is one who makes the lives of others through her own life. A Kumari is one 
who stays with the Father. A Kumari is one who always experiences the self to be powerful and who also make others powerful. A Kumari is one who always belongs to the one elevated Father and none other. A Kumari is one who takes every step forward with such intoxication. So, you are such Kumaris, are you not? Acha. Blessing, may you be completely viceless and renounce even any trace of laziness and carelessness to fluctuate in any action of the daily timetable to become lazy or careless is also a trace of vice that obstructs you in becoming worthy of worship if you don't experience yourself to be in an awakened state at amritvela if you simply sit because of compulsion or with laziness, then your worshippers too will worship you with compulsion or laziness. So, renounce even laziness and carelessness, for only then will you be able to become completely viceless. Slogan, you may do service, but do not have wasteful expenditure. Om Shanti